An Amdi Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, on Thursday vowed that the Eastern Security Network, ESN, would avenge the killings in Eboing and Enugu states. Kano alleged that the killings in Enugu and Eboing states have exposed the fact that security agents are working for their killer headers in the southeast. The IPOB leader stressed that the security agents are allegedly covering up killer headsmen. Kanu, who spoke through IPOP's National Publicity Secretary, Ima Powerful, wondered why security agents have not been able to apprehend those responsible for the massacre. A statement by Powerful reads, It is now obvious that the Nigerian military and other security agencies are providing cover for Fulani headsmen on killing spree in Southeast and South-South. With the recent massacre of innocent Biafrans in Enugu and Eboin states, by these blood-sucking vampires, nobody is still left in doubt that the security agencies have been giving them tacit support. The inability of the double-faced Nigerian security agencies to arrest or go after these killers days after the genocidal attack is a confirmation of our position that the Nigerian security agencies, despite their pretense, provide cover for terrorists disguising as Fulani headsmen in southern Nigeria. Why are the military helicopters, gunboats that were buzzing over Olu airspace in search of ESN operatives in February? Where are the heavily armed, brutal soldiers that massacred unarmed Biafran agitators in morning exercise of Emene? Where are the wicked DSS operatives daily hunting and adopting IPOB members and other Biafran agitators? These terrorists in security uniform are zealously arresting unarmed and peaceful agitators too weak and unwilling to touch their fellow terrorists' smoking lives out of innocent indigents. Nigerians, why can't Nigerian Fulani terrorists in military uniform trace those that attacked four villages in Eboin and Enugu states? But we assure them that these genocides will not go unpunished. Our gallant ESN personnel will respond proportionately. We are prepared for them. We knew a time like this will come. And that is why our proactive leader, Mazi Namdekano, flouted ESN ahead of time to defend Biafrans against these blood suckers. Again, we vow that ESN will avenge the blood of the innocent Biafrans spilled by these demons from Sahel. There will be tides any hypocrites in DSS, police or military uniform that will rise to their defense when ESM pays them back in their own coin. The die is cast. The dark moment that our leaders saw many years ago has finally done. Those who want ESN outlawed should provide an alternative now that the killers are on the pro. I can understand where... Um, Nam the Kano and um, IPOB are members, ESN, the Eastern Security Network, are coming from because so far we've not heard that um, this ESN they are attacking people, attacking uh, um, indigents. You know, when Nam the Kano set up this um, security outfit, he said it was to protect the people of the Southeast. That he has seen it that uh, President Mohammed Buhari doesn't have the interest of other parts of the country is only interested in defending and protecting the north that is why you see that if you raise any kind of um, accusation or any allegation against anyone from the north even the fulani headsmen they will fight it back you see the way they've been defending the, the killer headsmen up till date no one has been brought to book no one has been arrested we've not heard that yes um, um these are the fulani uh, headsmen who are terrorizing this area even uh, Isikilu that was um, arrested in the southwest, we saw how they, they've been playing politics with it. Knowing fully well that the indigenous have confirmed that this man has been a terror in our community. He's the leader, he's the, the gang leader of all of them and Fulani headsmen. He's the one that gives the uh, uh, order, that directs them where to go, which farm to go, which uh, community to go and attack and all of that. And up to now, we're still hearing stories. So it's very sad. Anyway, now the Kano is stating that right now he has seen that um, the security, uh, the, the military, the security, they are all working for the terrorists. We know that that is a known fact before. We know that before that President Mohammed Buhari and the terrorists, they are all working together. Because it's so surprising that um, ESN, we understand because, uh, you know, with ESN, even the Southeast um, governor stated that they cannot support ESN because um, it was buffered by Namdi Kano. 
that normally any security outfit that needs to come out from any region if you take a look at uh, Amoteku from the southwest that it was um, all the southwest governors that came together they sat together had consultations had different talks and came with an agreement came up with um, Amoteku that it's unacceptable that only Unam Dikano we just um, sit somewhere and state that um, he has set up a security outfit for the whole of the Southeast. You know, that was why they all disassociated themselves. All the Southeast governors told him that he was on his own. I do understand that part, but uh, the, the, the angle where I'm coming from right now is that uh, even the um, ESN, even as much as uh, Unabdi Kano formed this um, group, we've not seen that uh, they're attacking innocent citizens. They are not going after farmers or anything of such. But uh, it looks like President Mohamed Buhari, they are, they are, they are so, they are, they are dreadful of them. That was why you saw that um, they vowed that um, they will fish them out wherever they are hiding. And even put out a, a price tag that whoever is able to disclose their location will get something. And you know, the, the, the reaction that uh, uh, came was that President Mohammed Buhari, the energy you are using to chase ESA, why not channel that energy to look for Boko Haram? They are the ones killing people. You can imagine the massacre that took place in Ebony State and Enugu. That is the one Nam De Kano is crying about right now, stating that definitely that they will pay for their the, the crimes. And it's not any it's not a new thing. That is how Buhari and um, his administration, that's how they've been behaving. The killers of these um, innocent people, they will never be brought to book because the um, Lekki massacre up till today is almost six months now. Up till today, no one has been held responsible for that massacre. So very well, we know that um, it's organized. The, it, the order was given from Abuja, President Mohamed Buhari, and they are the ones um, that did all of that. And the kind is blowing hot seriously right now that um, there's going to be a payback. I don't know where this is leading us to. It's, re it's really getting, I don't know, it's it's not looking good at all because agitations here and there, if it's just the agitations alone, we can understand, okay, they are protesting peacefully uh, for a separation. But right now it has turned into killing, massacre um, of um, innocent citizens. And now the kind is blowing hot seriously that they need to bring those to book who are responsible or else that uh, they are ready um, to, to, to take action. Well, guys, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section would really love to hear from you concerning all that is going we know that um, um calls have been uh, 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 have been coming in that um, they need to declare state of emergency in these areas where this massacre these killings have been going on and the state governors what are they even doing the Vumai of Ebony state what are they doing about um, this situation you know when the when buhari when the the main uh, um, leader is not doing anything we can see that it even affects the other governors especially the all progressive congress ones i'm not partisan but i'm just looking at the way apc what apc have turned the country into anyway guys um, let's hear your take down below in the comment section thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe so i come your way again with more updates bye